apa-apa. Ayo, now. You can't get your focus because you're weird. Stay right there. Don't move, don't move, don't move. So we got cow. It's gonna be almost three years now. The Humane Society and a couple other places wouldn't take me and Paul's IDs. Um, so the cat that we were originally gonna get was a Siamese and we were gonna just try to help and actually like rescue a cat. Didn't prove to be a thing that we could do. So I was frustrated, I was actually pissed off. So I went on Craigslist and I found this white fluffy looking cat and we went and ahead and emailed the lady who had her her name is jenna and uh she was like yeah you can pick him up on tuesday and we did oh buddy what else is there to say about him i mean he's got his own personality and i mean he really really does he's impulsive From the moment we got him, we knew that we had gotten a cat that was going to pretty much take up all of our, our time. My name is Paul Campbell Rice. I'm one of his owners. We got him two years ago, I think. Two and a half? From Craigslist. I think it's Craigslist, so it depends. Just like anything else on Craigslist. Could get a good buy. Somebody just trying to you know, find a better home for their animal, or, you know, you might be better off going to the Humane Society, who knows? The perspective kind of shifted after a while. Um, we, especially going through college, he kind of became this little light that whenever we came home, he was super happy to see both of us, and that was the coolest thing, was that I would come home and he'd be sitting on, like, the the side table waiting for me and I open the door sitting on top of his litter box whenever I walk up through the back door. Yeah, he's noise sensitive and we live on a busy street. Is his mouth open right now? He's up to hang sometimes. His grooming requires constant maintenance. His coat requires attention. It's not a coat, it's for just for a note, right? Doesn't have a lot of hairballs, but he's had a couple. He's definitely due for a cut. That's when you brush him out, he has a lot of hair. Mm, I'm so tired. Both of you are. Both of you look like sleepy cats. Oh. <laughs> like Velcro. Calcifer's name. So Cal got his name when I was watching a Studio Ghibli movie and one of the characters, his name is uh, Calcifer and one of his mem most memorable lines was may all your bacon burn which I thought was a line that a cat would say. Into another curse and all your bacon burn. And that also Calcifer sounds very much like Lucifer and that would be a perfect name for a cat because it's close to Satan but not quite there. But also the character himself is kind of like looking after this person's heart at the time which I thought was super cute and I was like okay well Calcifer is close to Calixto, we can still call him Cal and that's what we need him. Cal, Cal, Cal.
He likes to head both things. Cow. Cow, get it down. Get back down here. Hey, get down. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no. That's my audio recorder. Don't do that. He's gonna knock it off. Come back to me. Yeah, he's got some length to him. I don't know, this, he hates this noise the most. It's okay, Cal. The fire truck. Hey. Do you think that he'd protect you guys if anything ever happened? No. <laughs> okay. He might. kid I had a couple different cats. So I had a cat Woody and uh, Mimi and Miles were my cats in high school and still um, Mimi still lives with my dad up in Illinois. Yeah I like him. He's a good cat. He's cute even though he's a little annoying sometimes. He is a cat in an alarm clock he wakes us up every morning by scratching at the bed or meowing very loudly at the door. He's very... He's very distracting. It's very hard to get anything done with him around because he's always knocking things over and jumping on things he shouldn't be on and drinking out of cups and you end up just trying to keep him off things. Why gotta be so difficult, man? <laughs> a good home for an animal it accepts the animal for who the animal is I do believe some owners treat their pets unfairly the owners have to adapt to the animal as an individual and how you know whatever its specific needs might be whether it needs more attention or specific food, you know, or if it has pests that you need to take care of, you have to pay attention to the animal. This could be it. I can't imagine myself with another animal at this point. I, I did consider a dog maybe whenever me and Paula got in a bigger place, but we, we just closed on a bigger place. So, and now I can't even consider getting a dog because I'm like, this cat is freaking awesome. Maybe another cat though. <laughs>